Hi, it's Ryan, and this is the first uh, installment of a Raspberry Pi CNC controller build. Um, if you're not familiar with Raspberry Pi, that's what this little fella is here. Um, it's a small computer. Um, it's got an HDMI port. It's got micro USB port for its uh, powering. Um, an Ethernet uh, connection for USB plugs. Uh, people make all kinds of stuff with them. Um, most commonly, it's going to be a uh, emulator for um, retro gaming or um, you know home automation or you know all, all kinds of crazy stuff. So um, it's a pretty cool little unit. Um, this is the Raspberry Pi CNC hat from Protoneer. Um, you'll see here I have the external driver cards already installed except for the last one that goes here. Um, and there's a reason for that. Um, so just to show you what comes with this when you uh, order it uh, from Protoneer or from one of their resellers, um, you're going to get the main board here. Um, you're going to get uh, the um, mounts for the Raspberry Pi itself. Um, and, uh, you're also going to get, uh, a, a bag of little jumpers here. Um, when we're using an external driver, like I am in this, uh, case, we're not going to use these little fellas. They're supposed to mount on these pins here to control the micro-stepping. Um, if we're using an onboard, um, uh, driver, uh, which you can do up to two amps, they will fit right in these card slots here and, uh, you know, makes even the wiring so much more simpler. Um, I'm building a pretty large machine, and so um, we're doing external drivers um, where you have to actually solder these little fellas um, on there. They don't come put together like this. That you you do have to solder the um, little legs on the bottom, and uh, you know, no big deal. It was the first time that I've soldered in a long, 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 long time. And uh, it, it works fine. So uh, um, I'm going to put it together and show you uh, um, how it uh, how we build this thing. Um, first, let's go over the Pi Hat itself and show you some of the features that it does have. Let's get rid of this stuff. Here we go. Um, so, like I said, the external driver hats are here. Um, you, if you look on this side, um, you, they have like a coolant enable. Uh, spindle direction, uh, speed controller for uh, the pulse width modulation, uh, ground there. Um, if you are running the onboard um, drivers, you can power them directly on the board here. Um, there's a probe connection. I don't think that they've uh, gotten it that operating yet um, at this point, but it, it's coming from what everybody says. And you also have your limit switches down here. So there's a uh, you can do a whole lot with it and get it up and running very quickly. And uh, we're not dealing with the limit switches and all that yet. I just want to get the thing up and running. Um, something else to notice here is that you can kind of see each one of these uh, external driver cards is on its own axis and they're labeled nicely X, Y, Z, and A. Um, for this uh, project, I'm slaving the A and the Y together. Um, and how you do that is actually here on the back, uh, you, all you have to do is you put a little solder and jump the little, uh, little sections right there and right there. And, uh, um, and then you're, you've slaved the A. You don't have to do it through hardware or anything or software or anything. Um, so it makes it pretty easy. It's a real nice little setup. Um, very compact. Um, the only thing I wish that we could do right off hand would be that there would be some standoffs for the Raspberry Pi itself um, because you're just dealing with here you're just dealing with the screws on the bottom and uh, you know putting it in the case doesn't really work at this point um, so it'd be nice if there were some standoffs to just throw on there to you know keep it off of the ground or tabletop or whatever so you're not damaging it it's not progeneer's fault or anything it's just a personal preference on that um so that's a, a change that we're going to be doing down the line so uh um 
yeah, so let's go back and I'll put this thing together and we'll, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like when it's uh, all stacked up. All right, well, here it is all assembled. Um, only takes a minute or two to put it all together um, once you have all the pieces. Um, the biggest pain in the butt one is the screw right here. If you have big giant nubby fingers like I do, um, it's kind of tough to get that one in there. Um, but you can see the external drivers in the direction that they're supposed to be facing in. Um, they line up with each of the four wires that are going to go here. Um, if you're using onboard uh, drivers, um, the wires that will come out here go directly to your motors. Um, so, um, but since we're doing it uh, with external drivers, um, these will go to the ground. They enable the step and direction of the uh, drivers out externally. Um, there's really not much else to say about this one. It's a pretty, pretty cut and dry, um, and uh, it, it's a nice little little package once it's put together. Um, in the next video, well, what we're going to go over is uh, going to be the driver wiring, uh, motor wiring, um, and the power supply that I'm using on this project, uh, getting it set up as a test rig, and uh, then we'll come, we'll move on to all the other fun stuff. So. Please uh, like and subscribe and all the other hoot and nanny that everybody asks you to do on YouTube. And uh, we'll keep at it. And hopefully you'll learn something as I have. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.